Welcome to another training video from himpact.com. My name is Alina Miller and today I'm going to show you how to create tables using the table design window in Access 2013. The database we're using has been created to track employees' hours and determine pay. This video will focus on constructing user tables with design specifications required for the database. These tables include users and security levels. The file name we are using is Sample Timesheet DB Create User Tables. Let's expand the navigation pane Tables Groups. Click Tables. Now let's create our first table. We need to create the Users table to store users, which will allow them to log into the Timesheet system. Click the Create tab to display the Create ribbon. Then within the Tables group, Click the Table Design button. This grid is used to define table fields or columns in Access. Notice the table definition areas for field names and data types. Field descriptions are optional. Let's add the fields with their data types now. In the top row of the grid, type User ID. Now choose Auto Number as data type. An Auto Number data type ensures a unique incrementing number for each record in the table. Click the Primary Key button in the Tools group. Primary keys are fields that must be unique across all records in a table. Table relationships are implicitly formed by placing the primary key of one table alongside the fields in another table. The primary key then becomes known as a foreign key in the newly associated table. Our primary key, user ID, will be used to uniquely associate the user and their information in the user's table. Place the cursor in the next row and continue adding the fields. First name is short text. And from the Field Properties General tab, change field size to 50. Last name, short text, and field size 50. Login ID as short text and field size 12. Password is short text and field size 12. Security level ID as number and field size, choose integer. This field originates from the Security Levels table Primary Key field, which we have yet to create, and by definition will act as a Foreign Key field in the Users table. Hourly Pay Rate As Number and field size single, which allows for decimals. Date created. As date time. 
For date created, we use the built-in function now as the default value to record the date and timestamp for each record created in the table. Now let's save the table. Click the Save button in the upper left corner of the screen. Place the cursor in the table name text box. Type Users. Press the OK button. Great! Our new Users table appears in the Tables group. This confirms the Users table has been successfully created. Now let's skip ahead and bring in a completed copy of the Security Levels table. Welcome back! While you were away, we skipped ahead and imported the Security Levels table from a completed copy of this database. Let's review the design of our Security Levels table. This table stores the authorization level of each user to allow or limit access to the secured areas of the system. The following fields with their associated data types are included as part of the Security Levels table. Security Level ID as Auto Number. This is the primary key field of this table. As mentioned previously, this is the foreign key field in the Users table. Title as Short Text and Date Created as Date Time. That's all of it. In summary, today we are able to use Access 2013 to create tables using the Table Design window. We created the Users table and discussed design specifications of the Security Levels table. Again, my name is Alina Miller. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this training tutorial from himpact.com.